In this video, I am going to discuss about feedback control systems and feed forward control systems. What is a control system? A control system is an essential component of organizational performance management. It enables managers to monitor and evaluate performance, take corrective action when necessary and continuously improve organizational performance. There are two types of control systems in management accounting feedback control systems and feed forward control systems. Let's discuss about each of these control systems one by one. Feedback control systems. Feedback control systems enable managers to monitor and evaluate organizational performance and take corrective actions if necessary. In management accounting, feedback control systems are used to compare actual performance to budgeted standards or targets and identify any deviations. These deviations are known as variances. Under management accounting, we are going to discuss about variance analysis in greater detail. There can be three types of deviations in feedback control systems. Positive deviation. These are known as the favorable variances. When the actual performance and the budgeted performance are the same, there will be no deviation. And finally, negative deviation. These are known as the adverse variances. These are the steps to follow in feedback control systems. Planning. The first step in developing a control system is to establish organizational objectives and develop a plan to achieve those objectives. Standards. Standards are established to provide a benchmark against which actual performance can be measured. These standards may include financial targets, key performance indicators, which are known as KPIs, and other performance metrics. Measurement and evaluation. The control system should include a system for measuring and evaluating performance against the established standards. This may involve collecting and analyzing data on financial performance, operational performance, and other key metrics. Feedback. The control system should provide feedback to managers on performance and variances from the established standards. This feedback should be timely and accurate to enable managers to take corrective action. So finally, corrective action. When variances from standards are identified, the control system should facilitate the identification of the causes of these variances and provide guidance on corrective actions. Under variance analysis, we will discuss about all of these steps one by one. Now let's discuss about the feed forward control systems. Feed forward control systems in management accounting are designed to prevent problems from occurring rather than responding to them after they have occurred. These systems are proactive and forward looking and they focus on preventing potential problems from arising by anticipating these issues before they occur. Feed forward control systems are based on the concept of identifying and controlling the factors that contribute to the desired outcome. The system takes into account the inputs and processes that are required to achieve the desired outcome and ensures that they are controlled and monitored to prevent problems from arising. These are the common steps under feed forward control systems. Setting objectives. The first step in developing a feed forward control system is to establish clear and specific objectives that need to be achieved, identifying critical inputs and processes. Once the objectives are established, the next step is to identify the critical inputs and processes that are required to achieve the objectives. Developing controls. Controls are developed to monitor and manage the critical inputs and processes to ensure that they are on track to achieve the objectives. So finally, continuous monitoring and adjustment. The system is continually monitored and adjustments are made to the inputs and processes as needed to ensure that the objectives are achieved. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.